Uh, my name is Bo, and uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our work, a uh, friend of uh, mining uh, species behavior via graph capture Informax detector against fraudsters. And uh, as internet uh, economics and uh, beyond networks thrive, there, there are also uh, incubate uh, various fraudulent activities, for example, calling card and uh, telecommunications uh, fraud, uh, fake accounts on social networks, network instruction, anomaly detection, and commit download fraud. Along with recent uh, advances in graph neural networks whose breakthrough performance is highly related to the social network, numerous antivirus seek to adopt uh, GNS for anomaly detection. And uh, uh, previous works aim to promote uh, identifying quality by studying promising GN encoders to sp spot abnormal instances from the massive data. In this work, uh, we concentrate on detecting abnormal users in the real-world graph structure data, which is relevant to the web and the social networks. Uh, so we can take a figure as an example. To better clarify this issue, uh, figure one uh, illustrates an example of an opinion fraud graph where the green uh, entities denote normal users and the red ones represent the fraudsters. We can observe an uh, interesting phenomenon as follows. Uh, the user one and the user three has same label with behavior inconsistency, while user, two, uh, user one and the user two has similar behavior patterns but label inconsistency. Uh, figure one be supposed that uh, user 1 focus on hotel reviews while user 3 is observed in film reviews. Uh, their review contents features are far from each other as they are associated with different themes. Nevertheless, they both are normal users with uh, normal conduct comments from a global perspective. Thus, user 1 and user 3 uh, be behave uh, different from each other, even if they share the same label. Concurrently, in Figure 1c, those crafted uh, fraudsters, uh, for example, user 2, seek to uh, connect with neighbor users, for example, uh, user 1, and uh, learn information from GNS, for example, hotel reviews. Uh, so uh, we can see that uh, in Figure 1c, user 1 and user 2 exhibit similar behaviors, but their labels are uh, inconsistent. So we uh, have such conflicts that uh, uh, we are cause a severe inconsistency between users' behavior and the label semantics in anomaly detections. Uh, so to, to this end, uh, we uh, are simply yet uh, effective graph anomaly detection approach based on capture networks uh, called Capture Graph Informax that focus on two specific perspectives, local and the global, to alleviate the impact of the inconsistency uh, problem. The first is a local perspective. Uh, we uh, distangle the node uh, representations to better tell the difference between normal users and uh, fraudsters for anomaly detection. Uh, and the second is the global perspective. We should also strengthen the connection between normal nodes from a global perspective. Uh, so how to uh, Use, uh, how to uh, strengthen our uh, perspective. Uh, here, uh, following uh, our arch architecture of our work, for anomaly detection, we propose uh, CAPS GI to remedy the inconsistency between behavior patterns and label semantics in anomaly detection. And uh, we elaborate on three essential com components of the proposed framework which is uh, GM-based uh, anomaly detectors, disentangle node captures, and uh, capture graph informax. So uh, let me introduce the first uh, part of our methods, the GM-based uh, anomaly detectors. Uh, uh, in this section, we detect the frog identities in a graph by using the node representation. Hence, we need to first introduce the node representation learning by GM-based anomaly detectors and how to work, including graph encoder and anomaly de classifier to perform our study. Uh, the first uh, one, we define the uh, graph encoder. So uh, the, there uh, exist uh, uh, formerly uh, four GN encoder, uh, 
following as uh, G GCN, GIN, GraphSage, and uh, GAT. So we use these four uh, graph encoders to define our encoder and uh, uh, get the note representations. Uh, the second one, uh, the second part of our uh, GM-based anomaly detectors is uh, anomaly classifier to project the target node to the same embedding spaces. Uh, space we instantiate an anomaly classifier based on near node mapping followed by a partial sup supervised loss function to minimize uh, the cross entropy entropy loss, such as the following. Uh, then let me introduce the second part of our method. Uh, this uh, tangle node captures. Uh, in most cases, uh, highly complex interactions, for example, common hobbies like reviews and films are involved in connecting each user in society. Uh, so uh, in this situation, we hope to explore it. this attributes to distinguish normal users from fraudsters in anomaly detection. However, the reality may be far from satisfactory. So, uh, aggregating the information of normal users by GNS can help fraudsters integrated integrate into the normal users as soon as possible, and thus disguise themselves from being spotted by anom anomaly detectors. Uh, and so, we to uh, to address the above challenges, uh, motivated by capture ideas, we propose this tangle node captures to describe the node embeddings as following. And the second, uh, uh, the third part of our method is capture graph informax, and which consists of two steps. Uh, step one, how to generate the higher level graph captures. Uh, in this step, we conduct a VGN that lower level node captures can vote for the higher level graph captures. Uh, when Multiple uh, votes agree. A high level captures that receives a cluster of similar votes becomes active. So, this process can generate high level graph captures that represent the whole graph. And in the step two, uh, how to conduct the co constructive learning between low level node captures and the high level ca graph captures? Uh, in this step, uh, we think each uh, higher level graph capture represents the vote of the whole lower level node captures. In this way, the same label of users tends to be clustered into the same cluster. Uh, after clustering, we compute the graph level representations for each graph capture to summarize how the majority in the whole graph, such as the following. And then we define the loss of self-supervised learning in graph capture informax, and which can be uh, formulated as following. Uh, so uh, we do uh, we conduct uh, many of uh, experiments to verify the, our uh, methods eff effectiveness. Uh, first, uh, for uh, let me introduce the datasets. We utilize four real-world. Uh, benchmark data sets to study the inconsistency problem in the anomaly detection task. And uh, detailed statistics, statistics are listed as uh, table one. And uh, for the pa parameter settings, we uh, adopt uh, the common parameter settings and uh, which uh, can, uh, we can uh, compare with the baseline uh, as uh, same uh, parameter settings. Uh, so we get the uh, main result of our work. Uh, for the first one is uh, overall comparison. Uh, in, th uh, in this uh, table, we can see that our proposed model consistently shows strong performance across all data sets, which uh, sentence our proposed method's effectiveness. Uh, and uh, the third, uh, 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 secondly, we compared with uh, GM-based methods our method has achieved a remarkable performance. And uh, then we make the conjecture that we uh, disentangle the latent factors of each node embedding and use the disentangled node representations to represent node captures. And the uh, third one, uh, we co consider that uh, GNE, DGI, DCI, uh, and, uh, our model, uh, and our method with in uh, a self-supervised semi-supervised, uh, self-supervised su self uh, learning architecture, 
we think the improvements many derive from the different uh, semi-supervised uh, learning uh, schemes. So our CAPS GI is to learn higher level representations for neighbors and so such that the constructive learning can only be performed uh, between each node and the uh, whole graph representation, which improve constructive learning efficiently. Uh, then we conduct the uh, application study. Uh, we uh, s design three variants of uh, uh, of, uh, of our uh, variants of our method, and uh, the first one is RDNC. Uh, in this uh, variance, we remove the disentangled node capture module and uh, conducting node representation. And uh, the second one is DJ. So we uh, remove graph capture in for Max and uh, instead use DJ for SL uh, task. And the third one is RSSL, where we move uh, self-supervised learning task. So from the figure, we can see uh, each part of our method, a variance, uh, play an important role, and uh, uh, we, uh, they work together to improve the perf performance. Uh, uh, and the last, uh, we, do, uh, we conduct a back backbone analysis, and then uh, we, uh, uh, so our graph encoder has uh, four uh, encoders uh, such as uh, GCN, GAT, and uh, GraphSage, and uh, GIN. So uh, in this, uh, it can be noticed that all four backbones uh, uh, have achieved good results. So we get the conclusions, and uh, uh, here are the following. So uh, sorry, uh, that's all. Thank you. Thanks for listening.